What's up guys, how's it going? Welcome to the Fuse.js basics tutorial. Fuse.js is a powerful and lightweight library for fuzzy finding. But what is fuzzy finding? So fuzzy finding is basically uh, finding some strings that are approximately equal to a given pattern. So today's video, we're gonna build this. So as I tap, it will give me the results. I have built this with React, however, you don't need to use React. You can use this with any JavaScript framework. You can also use this with vanilla JavaScript. You can also use this on server side with Node.js or Dino. You can use this with local data or you can use the data that is coming from some kind of API or database. So before we get started, please consider like this video and subscribe to my channel. This really helps me a lot. We're not going to build this application from scratch. The UI is already built. We're just going to add the search functionality. The UI is built with React and Chakra UI. If you want to learn about Chakra UI, you can watch this crash course. The link will be on the description, but it doesn't really matter which framework you are using. To get the starter code, just go to this repo and use the starter branch. Once you have cloned the repo, make sure you have run npm install to install all the dependencies which will also include fuse shares and if you're not using the package you can also use the cdn just go to this installation page and use this uh, cdn and you'll be good to go so let's just go to the project and go to the search.jsx file and go to this use effect hook we have this variable query text. This query text will be equals to the value that we will put inside this uh, search box. It will be updated automatically and this use effect function will run every time we will update the text. And for sample data, we have this mock data.json file. It is an array of objects. It has exactly 1000 objects with user data. Every object has this ID, first name, and last name, and the email. I got the data from a website called uh, Mokaro. The link will be on the description. You can generate a huge amount of data with this uh, simple website. So I will close this file. So first we need to import Fuse.js. So import Fuse with capital F from, because it's a class, from Fuse.js. So go to the use effect hook and create a new instance of fuse.js. So const fuse will be new fuse. And we need to pass some parameters. So we need to pass the first data. So we're just gonna pass that data variable. And then you can pass an configuration object. We need to pass the keys, which will be an array. So basically here we need to mention what keys we want to use for search. So if I open up the mock data file again, we have keys, first name, last name, email. So we want to use these keys. So we're going to pass uh, first name, then last name. And to see the available options that you can pass, just go to this uh, API reference section, then options. And here are all the basic options that you can pass. So we have already passed the keys, which is an array of string, or it can also be an array of object. So once we have the instance, we can call the search method. So fuse.search, and we need to pass the pattern. So we just need to pass the query text variable. And it will give us the result. So const uh, result. And now we need to change the state so we need to call the set search results. So we need to pass the result array. And if you don't know React state, so the search results, which is an empty array by default, and this set search results, which is a function, which we will use to change the value of this variable or the array. So also I'm gonna console log the result variable. So result. So let's see if it works or not. So if I just type something, you can see it is giving me a lot of results. If I open up the dip tool, 
it is giving me this results so we are having now 259 results which we don't want we don't want that amount of uh, data and it is also making our application bit sluggish so we can limit the amount of result with an additional object we can pass the limit key and you can pass a number i'm gonna just pass five so if i just type now it is giving us only five results so that's the basic use case of fuse.js so let's see some available options so we have this uh is case sensitive tools for case sensitive search which is default to false then we also have a option include store which is a boolean value again so a score is a value from zero to one zero means it's a perfect match and one is a complete mismatch so let's see what the values are in our results so uh we can pass include score to true and uh now let's search and inside this object we have this course which is not entirely zero and not entirely one then we have um include matches then min match character length basically how many characters you need to type to get the search results so if you want to ignore single character search you can set it to two then we also have should sort uh option which will sort our result then we also have find all matches basically it will continue to search even if we have a perfect match we also have seen the keys option then we have uh, options basically for matching purposes we have this threshold so with threshold you can just specify how good the search should be how much the result should match with the pattern so one means it will match anything zero means it will be a perfect match and you can also have values in between 0 and 1 the default value is 0 0.6 so i can change the value like um threshold to 0 0.3 so let's search again so now you can see we have very small amount of result but if i just pass 1 now you can see we have much more results so i think threshold value of 0.6 is fine then you also have location uh, distance then we also have uh, advanced options for extended search so you can see the examples these are a bit complicated so you can have this kind of uh, pattern based searching for example this a dollar sign at the end so it will try to match that ends with js or whatever expression that you have passed then uh, you have include match inverse exact match with this bank sign this caret sign java which will match prefix exact match and here you will also see the examples of this and they are a little bit complicated the last thing that i want to show you is something called weighted search so just like i mentioned uh in the keys array you can also pass objects or string so with weight you can specify which keys are going to have more priority than the others you don't need to pass it it's optional so for example i want to give the first name key the most priority so i'm gonna use an object so key and then weight the weight can be zero i can just pass like three so let's see um we have an error missing name property in key uh it the key name has to be name not key so we shouldn't have error now we don't have any error so let's type something and our search functionality is still working now fuse.js is trying to give us the data that matches more with the first name than last name so yeah that's it uh, that's all i wanted to show you there are quite a lot of things you can do with fuse.js just go to the documentation you can do simple queries you can also do advanced level searching so just uh, play with the library
So that's it. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have learned something new, please consider subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.